Good morning from the beautiful island of Madeira. It is 5.30 a.m. Did not sleep very well last night. You know, what, what is it when you need to get up early that your body just decides to just not let like you sleep when you want to go to bed? Anyway, I'm awake now and today I am hiking to the highest peak on Madeira Island, Pico do Arreo and Pico Ruivo. So I'm doing a guided, well, a self-guided sunrise hike. I've got a shuttle to and from the pick up and drop off points. So this is a great way to see the highlights of the island without a car. So I thought I'd vlog the whole thing and take you with me and see what it's like to hike these peaks. So I need to go and fuel up, I think, because I think it's going to be quite a difficult hike and then I need to go and find where I'm going to the shuttle from. So I needed to grab some breakfast quite quickly because I had a pickup arranged which was going to pick me up from a five minute walk away from the Airbnb we were staying at and they were going to take me up to Pico de Arreo. So I made a really quick breakfast and grabbed some snacks as well to fuel myself up for the rest of the hike. And then I swiftly left the Airbnb and went to find this pickup point. They were already waiting for me, so I was running a little bit late. All right, we've just drove to the top of the island, basically. Um, so Pico Ruivo is the highest peak in Madeira and you can actually drive all the way up to it. This was fake news, this is actually Pico do Orario. You can't drive up to Pico Ruivo, which I would learn later on in this video. So we've done that. Gonna watch the sunrise from here and then start the hike. So it's already see, looking absolutely beautiful. There's another half an hour till sunrise till. So the viewpoint from here was magnificent. As you can see, I couldn't see like loads of the island or anything, but just this feeling of being a above the clouds, especially when the sun was coming up. It was just magical. So I was here for about 45 minutes waiting for the sun to come up and obviously the sky turned all sorts of colours during that time which was really really beautiful and then finally the sun rose and then I began my hike. I was heading on trail PR1 which leads from Pico do Arreo and heads all the way up to Pico Ruivo. So Pico do Arreo is the third highest peak in Madeira and it's the highest peak that you can drive up to and Pico Ruivo is the highest peak but you can't drive up to it. Hopefully that clears up any confusion from earlier. I was tired and <laughs> wasn't really sure what was what. So I've come to the first of, I think there's five tunnels, um, which just go underneath the peaks. So I think this is the easier section of the hike now, but I'm glad I've come to this tunnel because, <laughs> not that I thought I got lost, but just reminded me I was going the right way. <laughs> I'm just trying to zoom into one of the tunnels in this clip. So these just cut through the mountain. So there's not as much up and down as there would be if they weren't there, but there's still a lot. <laughs> All right, I think I've got a little bit of flatter terrain now, which is good. Um, the, the moment I've just been mainly going down, but actually I've still got to go back up all the way to Pico Ruivo the highest peak in Madeira, so I've got that to look forward to, but got a little bit of respite for the legs now. <laughs> After the caves, I had some amazing views and walked along this ridge for a while. So there was quite a lot of this walking, but lots of stops to take in the scenery. And I mean, look at this, this is just mesmerizing. And this is why I really do think it may well be Europe's best hike. But then there were the stairs. There were a lot of the stairs. These were the hardest part of the hike, without a doubt. Oh, just looking at it, <laughs> it brings me back. I thought I'd got to the top <laughs> and I hadn't. There is still more, but... I think I can see the top of Pico Ruivo now and then it's an easy walk from there apparently. So whew, hopefully it won't be too much longer, the views are still epic but this is a tough hike. 
So there was still more uphill to go. The steps are definitely the hardest part, but then there's this more gradual incline here, which is by no means easy. So eventually I got to a cafe area you can see it just down below there but then I had did the rest of the hike to get up to Pico Ruivo so this bit of the hike is there and back you hike up to the actual peak and then you hike back down but this is the very top so it's the very highest point of Madeira I was the highest person in Madeira for a moment and I just took some time to enjoy the view as it was very warm up here and I had a celebratory smushed pastel de nata, <laughs> which was very tasty. These views were absolutely mesmerizing. Like, this is such a beautiful hike. I did it in mid-November and it was not too busy as well. So then I headed back down to the meeting point and this was a lot easier, but my legs were aching by this point. Oh, there's the peak again. One kilometre left. This bit is much easier, but it's still, I'm very tired by this point after going up all of those stairs. So I'll be glad to sit down and have a coffee. <laughs> We had five and a half hours to see the sunrise and complete this trek. We were dropped off by the driver at 7 and we were picked up at 12.30. I made it back to the car park in good time so I had a much needed coffee. <laughs> and then on the drive back we stopped off at this viewpoint which was really really lovely. Then we just headed back into Funchal where I rested my legs a little bit for the rest of the day. Here are my stats on Strava for anyone interested. So you can see quite a lot of up and down hill, um, but it was a good hike. It was challenging, it was beautiful, and it was really good exercise. Thank you so much for watching this video. Please do leave a like if you've enjoyed it and hit the subscribe button if you want to see more videos like this. And I will see you next time. Bye.